Hi everyone. Welcome to Makeup and Magic. I am Catherine. Ta -da! That's me. Anyway. Um, I don't really have a topic today, so I'm just going to talk about whatever pops into my mind. Um, there's been a few things kind of mulling around in my head, so I thought I'd share. Um, for the most part, I, I know last week I talked about sobriety and paganism and I, I said it was going to be a heavy subject but then I talked like 30 seconds and was done with it so I guess it really wasn't that heavy um but I was in a uh one of my pagan groups and one of them was asking about because I follow Morrigan and one of them was asking about how you work with Morrigan while being sober and in case any of you guys are wondering um what I do and it may not work for everyone not everyone's going to be comfortable with this and that's totally okay um, but what I do is I buy non-alcoholic beer and non-alcoholic wine like I'll get a like I have a bottle of uh, non-alcoholic Merlot in the fridge and um, I've gotten uh, a non-alcoholic amber ale from Odul's which is actually really good stuff um, I don't know about the regular non-alcoholic beer that Odul's makes, but the stuff that I get, the Amber Ale, is really good. Um, and I use those for my offerings for Morrigan, and she accepts them. Um, I think we just have kind of like a silent understanding that she knows I can't be around real alcohol, and she accepts that about me. So the offerings I give her is, are as close to that as I can get without crossing that line. And I think that she appreciates that. So that's my, my take on the whole thing. Um, anyway, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, so I'm kind of doing something. I'm going to be doing um, a lot of variety of different types of makeup. But mostly I'm going to be doing Mary Kay because I have one of these. These are old. Um, I don't even know if they look like these anymore. But these are the look cards that you can get. And I'm sure they're set up differently now because, like I said, it's been a really long time. But you end up having like the eyeshadow, the blush, and the lipstick all in one page. And so I'm going to try it out because I haven't tried this particular look out. Um, the other cards I have are the exact same ones as the, the makeup palette that I actually have from Mary Kay. So there's no real difference there. So, yeah. Um, let me grab my glasses real quick. So I'm going to be starting out, now I've used this once or twice before, I didn't really think much about it, but I'm going to try it again just in case. This is the Maybelline New York Master Prime by Face Studio Primer Base Blur Redness Control 300. And so I'm going to try this as my primer. After I blow my nose, I swear I get runny noses about everything. I'm sure people probably think I snort coke or something. I'm just always... <laughs> Anyway, I just have bad sinuses. It sucks. Anyway, so starting with the primer. And the reason why I'm not sure about this stuff is because I've used it before and I really didn't notice that much of a red reduction. But, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm using my Mary Kay foundation. Again, this is the old version. I'm waiting for an order before I can get some of the new stuff. And that's probably not the smartest way to put it on. I'm sure it probably, like, causes oils or whatever, but sometimes it's just easiest to use your hands. But I use the sponge to kind of buff it out a little bit so there's no streaks when it burns. 
And again, I got this wet, so it's like super enlarged right now. Okay, so it actually did help with some of the redness, I'm noticing. Because, like, especially, like, right around here and here, I usually get a lot of redness because of my glasses. There's actually, like, broken blood vessels. You can kind of see tiny ones up there if you look really close. And they're definitely on my chin. But you can't really see them now. Although I'm not sure if that's the primer or the foundation. It's probably a combination of the both. point I talked about familiars or whatnot and I don't know if I ever told you guys the story of a cat I had once it was a flame point Siamese and if you don't know what that is it's basically a Siamese but instead of having brown tips and patches or whatever it's orange so it's a white cat with orange tips and orange tail and you know <coughs> excuse me um and uh I lived, a long time ago, I lived with a cat hoarder. Uh, that was not pleasant. It was actually very traumatizing. <laughs> um, well, the whole experience there was traumatizing, but being a cat hoarder was just a huge adding on to that. Um, but one of the cats I actually did was, that, that I actually picked out that was mine, was this Flame Point Siamese kitten and um, I don't remember what I initially named named it, um, but we thought it was a girl for the longest time. It had very female energy, and it looked like female parts, you know. Um, apparently, he was a late bloomer. <laughs> because suddenly, just one day, we discovered he is, in fact, a boy. <laughs> they dropped. Um, and, uh, but... Because of the whole situation and how we thought it was so funny, because he still had very feminine energy. Um, and I know that's not a politically correct term anymore, but we named him Hermaphrodite Dinky Balls. Well, I know Hermaphrodite isn't a politically correct term anymore. You, you, uh, the correct term is intersex, in case you're wondering. Um, but at the time, I didn't know that. And so, and besides, it was funnier sounding using Hermaphrodite. Um, so yeah, it was Hermaphrodainty Dinky Balls. That was his full name. We call him Hermes for short. So that was him. But he was my first, first full-blown familiar. Um, I've had lots of pets that I was incredibly close to, that I was emotionally connected to, but this was the only cat that I could truly say was my familiar. Um, unfortunately, he passed away from bladder infection. Uh, we had two cats that developed it. The first one made it, the sec second one was Hermes, and Hermes, we didn't catch it in time, and we got him to the vet, and he passed away, or was put down. I'm not sure which. I was never told, just that he was gone. Um, and knowing the people I lived with, I would not have been surprised. So, they liked to destroy anything that I loved or hoped. That was their, their main thing of controlling me. So, abusive relationships, good times. Not really. Um, but I do remember that cat and I remember him with absolute love and fondness and I miss him terribly, but he was a good guy. But he was, oh, he was one of those cats that would like climb up on your shoulder or climb up and cuddle you. And he was just, oh, he was so sweet. I miss him. Um, but yeah. Okay. So what am I going to do next? Oh, so I'm going to do my eyes next. Um, I kind of have dark circles like normal, but it might be a little bit darker because I didn't sleep well last night. I slept, but I don't think for very long, and then I tossed and turned a lot. But I'm not actually really tired right now, so I think we're okay. So I'm going to use my little color corrector stuff here. One of these days I'll get to the store and get myself a new one. One that's creamier. This one's really hard to work with. But it's that peach color that helps cancel out the darkness in my eye under my eyes.
Yeah, it's a bit better. Not quite even, but close enough. a little bit of powder under my eyes so I can do my eyeshadow and that way if it if there's any fallout it'll get caught. Colors, shades on this, 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 where's my glasses? Okay, there's Moonstone, Silver Satin, and Sweet Plum. Again, I don't know if these shades are still available. I will check, and if I am, I'll put a big flushing yes up here somewhere. Um, so yeah, so you peel away the little plastic sheet. And these things are nice. It doesn't look like there's a lot there, but that actually there's more than an actor and eye look. So that's kind of cool. Sorry if I go off camera a little bit. I still haven't found a, a perfect setup for my stuff. Um, for one thing, my mirror sucks. I mean, it's great magnification, but it's huge and clunky and heavy and it's hard to work with. So eventually I plan on getting one of those little thin mirrors that, because part of the problem is this is, this is a light up one, which I don't use the light up at all. I never plug it in. I'd, I'd cut the cord, but I figure if I get a new one, I'd like to give this one to someone who could actually use it. And cutting the cord on it would not be good for that, so. <clears throat> I'm even using my Mary Kay brushes. So these are really nice. I've always loved them. Okay, so now I'm going to use... I'm going to take this silver and I'm going to... they're not that gray brushes. They are old. I just didn't expect it to be shedding. That's unfortunate. Seriously, what the hell? Okay, I'm not using that brush anymore. It's ridiculous. I need new brushes. Not, I don't need new brushes. I have plenty of brushes. But I would like to get a new set of the Mary Kay ones because when I got them, they were great. Now, not so much. Because they're old, they've been misused, I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm just using a thin brush not necessarily an eyeliner brush but just one that's a little bit thinner and easier to control
tried out a sleep mask last night, which I never used before. It's just a gel that you put on your face and it dries on, stays on while you're sleeping. I was worried it was going to like come off on my pillow or something like that, but it actually dries on your face before you even practically lay down, so. I don't know if it really helped though, but it made me feel like I was pampering myself, so I guess that alone would make it worth it. turning out good. I'm kind of digging this look. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brush and kind of blend it a little bit. Just soften it up a bit. sure about the silver. I mean, I'm usually like big on the grays and blacks and silvers and stuff, but with this combo, I'm just not quite feeling it. I don't know. I'll add more of the red. I thought that would just make me look like a bruise down here. Somebody's alarm is going off. Okay, that's a bit better. I think I'll go over the inner corner again with the white. Just to give it a little bit more pop. I'm sure it doesn't help I didn't actually put on any eye primer, which I forgot to do. I meant to. Forgot. gonna take my little handy cloth. I use it to wipe my hands when I've got foundation on it and stuff like that, but it's really handy for doing stuff like this. It's very soft. These are the these are from Mary Kay too. These are their disposable face cloths they use for their facial kits. And they're just absolutely wonderful. They're technically disposable but they're so soft and they're kind of thick so you know you could use it as a handkerchief or I often use it as a handkerchief. Okay, I'm going to take my little liner brush here and put a little bit of the purple on there. And I'm just going to do a little bit under the eye. Just to join these two up. Kind of subtle, just a little bit to kind of join it together, connect it. Okay, nice smoky look. Oh, okay, hold on, I gotta stretch my legs up. I'm not sure where. Oh, not all our room. Okay, so I'm going for the eyeliner. Last week I ended up using the wrong mascara and it made my eyelashes like super clumpy. I threw it out. I threw that mascara out. It was an Almay one, but it wasn't waterproof. I meant to grab this one out of my bag because this is my waterproof black and it works really, really well. I ended up grabbing that one because it's a similar color tube. Yeah. So anyway, I ended up throwing it out. Almay sucks. Well, some of Almay sucks, not all of it. I do have other things from Almay in my bag. And I'm just doing this very gently. I'm not trying to smudge or smear. Just trying to get a little bit of darkness here. Okay. 
but I'm not trying to drag my eye. So I'm going to do it real gentle. done. Now we're going to do the cheeks. Okay. So this shade is called, as soon as I read it, mm. this cheek color is shade Bold Berry. And then the lip color, when I get to it, is called Whipped Berries. This is a berry look. That's what it's called. It's called the berries. So that makes sense. Okay, um, for this, I'm actually not going to use a brush. I'm going to use a cotton ball because it's bright and I want to make sure I have a little bit more controlled use over it. And I'm just going to dab it on just very lightly. You can see it's really pigmented. So you gotta, I'm doing it very, very gently because I'm not trying to go super, super dark. I probably should have put my contour on first, but I forgot. It happens. turn it over and you just buff it out a little bit because that was too dark. See, I'm using the blank side. There's the color side, there's the blank side. I'm using the blank side to just kind of blend it a little bit because it was a little bit sharp and dark for my taste. So if I do it very gently, I'm not going to use contour. Anyway. Um, okay. So, uh, what else was I going to do? Dun, 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 dun. Oh. First of all, I'm going to take that cotton ball again on the other, the clean side, and I'm just going to dust that off. And I'm going to use a little bit of my lighter foundation for my under eye. And I'm not going to wipe it on, I'm just going to dab it, very gently touch it, because I'm not trying to disturb the color correction underneath it. I just want to get it a little bit lighter. Very, very gently. Gently. I want the color correction, but I don't want to screw it up. Yeah.
Mm. I'm not sure. I don't know. Seems a bit too light now. go in with the brush a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of the blush on there. And I'm just going to touch up right around here. Because the concealer kind of made a sharp edge and I want to get rid of that. But again, I'm just tapping. digging it. I think I made the I made the blush come too far forward is the problem so I know how to fix it. I just take my foundation and my handy dandy little sponge and I touch it up. If I can get it to come out of the whoa shoot yeah that came out of the tube all right. Anybody can do this I'm telling you. If I can do this you can do this. Actually, just going to go over the blush just a little bit too, just to soften it up a bit. to show mistakes happen it's okay we can find ways to fix it okay better yeah all right so i am going to put my powder on and then i'm going to put my mascara on and then my lips I think I forgot anything. Okay, mascara. Oh, my eyebrows. I forgot my eyebrows. Okay. I hope everyone's having a lovely day. The weather's been kind of weird here lately. I mean, it goes from being really nice to really rainy to really nice. I mean, it is Washington after all. It's only to be expected, but... I'm not great at doing my eyebrows, but I've accepted that. Alright. Mascara. Oh, for Christ's sakes, talk about clumps. That one got away from me. Oh, and when you get mascara, in case you don't know this, if you're new to makeup or whatever, when you get mascara, when you're refilling it, don't pump it. It gets air in there, and it'll cause it'll bring bacteria and cause it to dry out. What you want to do is when you put it in to refill it, you just twist it a little bit and then pull it out. So don't pump, twist. There you go. And never share your mascara or eyeliner with anyone. Eye germs are no joke made that mistake once it was actually my mom's eyeliner and there she was fine she wasn't sick or anything but i used her eyeliner and i ended up getting like i didn't get pink eye but i my eyes got really screwed up for a little while i think i was having like an allergic reaction or something i don't know it was weird but yeah 
That's when she told me. She's like, yeah, you don't want to use other people's mascara. That's not a good idea. So. Okay. And I'm just going in and I'm gently smudging away the eye of mascara that got on my lid. It's very, very common with people with hooded eyes. They put mascara on and it just gets everywhere. Yeah, I am no different. do my powder and I'm going to use my powder brush for that This is really cool. I gotta show you this. So, okay, you take this, peel the whole thing off like that, okay? Or you don't really have to do that, but it's easier. So then you take this and you peel this off like this. Now this has some of the lipstick on it. And if you fold it in half like that, boom. Isn't that cool? I love how they do those. Where are my glasses? There they are. And it goes on great. Mm -hmm. So this is today's look. I'm kind of digging it. I am going to put on a little lip gloss and it's as soon as I find it. <laughs> there it is. Now this is Mary Kay. This is Fancy Nancy. And I like it because it kind of gives a shimmer to it. I like the shimmer. I mean, I can appreciate matte lipsticks. I have some. But I love me a good shimmer. So. Shimmer. If you watch Doctor Who, you know what that's from. Shimmer. Shimmer. Anyway. I'm a big Doctor Who fan. All right. So I think that turned out nice. It's kind of fresh and bright and cheerful. Yeah. I'm digging it. Especially the lipstick. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we got today's face done. Did I miss anything? Oh, highlighter. Can't live without the highlighter. I must have my glue. <laughs> okay. Just along the top of my brow bone. Maybe a little bit right here. Maybe a little bit on my chin. Let's see how that looks. not super glowy. I mean, it is when the light hits it on my cheeks, but it tends to go up too, so I don't know. Alright. That's it. Alright, 
so I'm going to read our card and call it done. I'm gonna go find my glasses again. There they are. I, I think eventually I'm just gonna get one of I'm gonna get one of those old lady cords that goes around the neck and hooks to the glasses so they just land. Like that. I am an old lady, so you know. Okay. So you can see my easel back here. This is also where I do my, all my painting too. And uh, if anybody's interested in checking out my paintings, I will put a link um, somewhere on here, either in the comments or in the description or whatever, um, to my online. Uh, it's it's Fine Arts America or America's Fine. I don't know. I'll figure out the link and I'll post it on there. Um, but it's got all of my artwork on there. That's available. I do um, have the original pieces available on there as well, but you can also buy prints and bags and puzzles and all sorts of stuff with my print, with my artwork on it. If that's what you're into. If you are, then cool. I'd love for my artwork to get shared. Legitimately, not pirated. Girl's gotta make some money. Okay, that didn't work out well. And that one fell out. So this is a card. Nine of Swords. Okay. And again, don't let anybody give you crap for having to use the book to read. I have the memory retention of a, a, a goldfish cracker. So I need the book or I can't function. Okay. Divinatory Meaning. It has been a tough time. You faced some challenges and made some difficult decisions. The good news is the Nine of Swords indicates that this phase is at an end, or very nearly so. Your current task is to wrap things up. Some people make the mistake of reliving such times over and over, watching the tapes with regret, bitterness, or anger. In order to move forward, you need to relive the situation one last time through the eyes of compassion for yourself and for everyone involved. Learn the lessons embedded in that experience. Recognize the wisdom gained. Then you can truly move forward. Move forward. So that's good. That's a good one. It's a good one if you're working on yourself. If you're stagnant and not going anywhere, then it's really not going to be a good card. It's pretty much telling you get your shit together. So, anyway. That's it for today. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a magical day and enjoy the weather. Even though it's rainy, it's still nice and cool out and it feels great. And um, yeah, enjoy it out there. Love y'all.